peoples, how's it going there on the other side? Hope you're doing all right. We are off. We're going to the coast. We're leaving Porto Alegre after our time here. And we're going to make that first little turn down south next to the Brazilian coast in direction of the border with Uruguay. But before we go, I want to show you something. What's that, Elp? You feel less top heavy. How so? Oh. Look at that. We got the soft panniers on the girl. Not on top, but down below. This should do wonders for the weight distribution once uh, we're gonna get back on the off-road. But now the setup is complete. As you've seen, we uh, camp plenty too on this trip. The camping gear always complicates packing a little more, so the new tent we got in here i'm still bringing this bag along in case that i decide nah i don't like this or if they fall apart we can go back to this so that's still with us new tent you say that's right i want to take a moment to say goodbye to something an inanimate object to uh, this tent that i got in 2014 when i left five and a half years ago when i left the netherlands at the decathlon durable great shape easy to set up and i think that I've spent about a year in this tent, no joking. I've lived in this tent, this was my life. I don't know, it's like leaving a home behind, yeah, it's weird. But thank you for your service. On um, these tents, I like the shape, I like the design. You can set them up against the wind when it's really windy so you can compensate for uh, uh, excessive wind. And while I was at it, we <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this. This was the only thing I could find when I was in, in, in Chile leaving back then. And what do we got now? So you, you saw you saw how big that was? Look at this. This is a sleeping mat, inflatable. The smallest I've had so far. How good is that? And the thing that kept us here way longer than I wanted to was waiting for the new motorcycle document for Elp so we can get over the border again, or at least without surprises. Thanks, Petty, for sending that to Brazil from the Netherlands. And special thanks to Francisco Landini in Sao Paulo, who sent it down to me. Obrigado. Well, peeps, if Alp is ready and I'm ready, then that means we're going to Patagonia. Let's go. Gente. Hmm. These were my kind Airbnb hosts here, friends of Fabricio with the Shimarão. That's life here. And don't drink anything else. Just like tea and coffee, uh, where we're from. Como é que dizem? Eu? Chimarrão. Cuia. Chimarrão. Chimarrão. Olha, muito obrigado. Ah. Ah, tchau. Eu que agradeço. Prazer. Prazer foi meu. Beto. Prazer foi meu. Cuidado pra... Pra próxima. Cuida-te. <risos> Vamos lá. Até a próxima. Sair da terra do gaúcho brasileiro. Last check. First time. Boom, boom. Bora lá. Boa viagem, Pedro. Te cuida. Obrigado. Right, this is it. Tchau. Tchau. E obrigado outra vez, pá. Até mais. A pro... Até a próxima. Tchau, até a próxima. Until next time. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the coast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gonna make a right turn here. And you know what's cool about that is that and what's cool about that is that from now on, right, from now on, we're riding almost exclusively south. Just like there was a time when I started where I was only riding east. Zealand, New 
New Zealanders watching, tell me that this isn't Southern South Island around the Invercargill region. It really is, including the windiness. Perfect. Okay. E uh, você são da onde? Curitiba. Where are you from? Curitiba. Curitiba. Eu passei Para lá. perto de lá. Oh. Conheci uma cara. Ah, olha, do motoclube Curitiba. Essa Está. é uma Kawasaki Versus. Versus. Ah, o Versus. Ah, esta é a versão grande do Versus. Sim, sim. Vi a versão de 600, eu acho, uma vez. Isso. Boa máquina, não? Sim, sim. Oi. Muito vento? Nossa, muito vento. Muito vento. É verdade. Bom. Mas é bacana, bem legal. É uma aventura. Pois é. That's right. I've been having now with the panniers, feeling the wind sometimes a lot more. Haven't uh, been used to that for a while. So they're also going down in Uruguay, but a different border. So the fresh oil did help well, and so did the little luncheon for me. Let me show you where we're heading out. We left uh, Porto Alegre here uh, today, Canoas, and we rode down here to the coast. And now we are here on this little peninsula with a lake in between us. Well, it's kind of the sea still. I'm gonna ride all the way down here to Rio Grande. Well, not exactly, to this point here, and then from there, we have to take a ferry. Another 250 kilometers still, and we should be seeing the sea again soon. Tchau, pá, boa viagem. Ah, vamos. <laughs> oh, that's a drop. Well, let's go, they say. Fair enough. Ah, já é aqui. Pedro, Muito bom. boa viagem. Obrigado, para você também. And there they go to Uruguay. And tank bag, you're on very tight, so my steering angle is terrible. And that's how you sometimes end up riding with people. Just like that. That's nice. All right, let's go. Oh, I've already learned, by the way, that apparently the last ferry is at five. So we're not going to make the ferry to die. Oh well, looking forward to see the ocean. Or sea. To the wall, to the wall, full voyage. They've overtaken me once, I've overtaken them, second time now. Going left here, see if we can get to the beach. feels a lot better with uh, everything on its side on the side and the side panniers and not all the heavy stuff anymore in the top case makes a big difference I got myself in a little spot of water I have way more wiggling 
space with my feet than I did with aluminium panniers. That's good. As long as it's not swampy. Wanna see something cool? Ta-da! Great improvement. Let's let some tire pressure out. How to start chewing away at your brand new chain in two days. That's a beaut! This is great! That's why I come here! Yeah, I suck in the ruts! Have to get back into it, not confident uh, yet. I went down uh, Bolivia pretty hard one time. Doing 60 to 70 in a rut, trying to get up to speed. Too deep. My uh, front fork situation didn't go well. This is great. Catch the sunset here. for something more to come. I have an idea, I have a plan. If I can do it, I don't know. That depends on the weather. The next day, couple of days. A little bit of fun off the beaten track before we head into Uruguay and leave Brazil. But right now, I gotta leave this place because it's getting dark and I still have to find my way back through the soft sand. We're back on the road, uh, peoples. And uh, this feels pretty good. Especially uh, at the end of the day when you end up in a place like this. So let's head back uh, to uh, San Jose do Norte. All right, peoples, I think this is as good of a place to call it a day. We're back in it. If you enjoyed this, you're not subbed yet, why don't you click the sub button and uh, hit the bell while you're at it because there's a lot more coming. What do you reckon, Alp? Is there a lot more coming? She says yes, and uh, I think so too. All right, take it easy. I'll see all you next time, uh, folks. Ciao.